Hey everybody and welcome back to my dream machine and welcome back to Creative Kiwi. We're going to make a pumpkin coaster today. So gather up your supplies, a little bit of thin batting and fabric. So this is the back fabric and I suggest that you iron it to have a nice crease like I'm showing you there. It just helps when you put it all together. Now two different kinds of or colors of fabric. That's for my center and that is for the main. It matches the two folded pieces and I think it looks better. Hoop a piece of tearaway stabilizer in the size hoop that works for the size that you're doing. And Creative Kiwi will give you all the instructions on sizes so you can pre-cut everything. Put it in your machine and the first thing is our placement line. Now I'm doing the 8x8 coaster which is quite large but it looks fantastic. Next thing you put down is your fabric with the thin batting underneath. The next step is it's just going to stitch it all down so you can hold it down properly and stitches it all together. Then it's going to stitch the placement line for the inside part. And it looks really cool if you change like contrasting fabric on the inside. Now, if you are doing a lighter fabric, it's a good idea to cut it out. And I use really sharp scissors just to get it started because my applique scissors don't have sharp ends. So it's just easy to just start it off like that and it makes it neater. Cut it all out, add your second color, which uh, I love the fabric I chose. It's fantastic. And then it's going to tack that down. Now, I had a little technical difficulty with one of my cameras, so I didn't film this part, but just trim it out. Just trim it out and make it nice and neat. The next thing that's going down are the zigzag stitches. And the purpose of these zigzag stitches is just to hold all the ends down and keep everything nice and solid. It, it makes a big difference. It also helps you to know if you cut your fabric well enough, your applique, because once the stitches are down, you'll be able to see if you missed a spot or something. I always give it a little check out. So the next thing that is going to stitch is the uh, quilting stitches. So it's a stipple stitch. And I kept with the same color of orange because I didn't want those gorgeous pumpkins to, you know, get covered up. So the orange, you can see it, but it doesn't cover up the faces. I had thought about black, but I thought black through the pumpkins would ruin the faces. So I just left it as orange. So I haven't changed any thread yet. And I thought that was cool. So now a quick thread change for brown. And we're going to be doing the stem at top at the top of it. Now I picked a really dark brown and uh, looking back I think if I had picked something a couple of shades lighter it would look better. Uh, it shows up just fine on this but I think personally I would have liked it if I picked something just a little bit lighter but it still looks fantastic. It, that's Floriani thread I'm using. I can give you guys the number if you want it, but I would like it a little bit lighter. So then I'm going to do a quick thread change. And remember when you're changing threads, you pull it in the, you cut it at the top and you pull it in the direction that the thread normally goes and that saves your tension disc. So I'm going back to my gun old orange and I forgot to rethread it. So yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. Let's start it first. Back up a little bit, Sue. So now we're going to do the detail work. So it's going to take a few minutes, uh, but it's an easy stitch. So I'm just going to put on some music and we can watch it go.
All right, now that that's done, we're gonna do the finishing steps. The first one is just a, like a quilting line. I think it looks fantastic. You can match it as I did, or you can do a contrasting color. It looks great. Now, these two folded pieces that you've ironed so nicely, it really makes a difference if you're ironing it. You wanna put the fold down in towards the middle. And the second piece, you want to overlap it. See, I double check just a little bit to make sure that everything fits in and uh, just make sure the folds are overlapping because that's how we're going to fix it. Now, I started stitching this and I realized I'm going to end up with a problem where my finger is. I don't want to keep holding my finger there. So I stopped my machine and I just quickly grabbed a couple pieces of tape just to make sure my foot wouldn't get caught in there. McDreamy has a little habit of doing that. And then I felt a little more confident to continue on. And off we went. It didn't get caught on anything. I, I was just being paranoid. It won't get caught on this side, so I didn't even worry about it. It's going to stitch it down twice and you know we're basically done we've got a little bit of cutting out to do and that's it so i take the tape off make sure you take the tape off take the hoop off of the machine and pop everything out of the hoop and the first thing we need to do is carefully take off our tear away and remember to hold everything down don't just rip where the lines are because you might pull some of the stitching down so I put my hand down and I'm holding it down quite strong now once you do that grab your scissors cut it out close to the stitch line and make sure you trim cut the corners clip the corners I guess it's called and uh, make sure it's nice and neat you don't have to worry about making it perfect or anything like that because it's the inside once that's done and you're happy with it start turning it and it's really easy to do you just turn it with the the back part that we did and it's easy poke out the edges I use my fingers because I'm using a, a bigger one so it's easier and uh, you could use like chopsticks or carefully used scissors and fold it out make it nice and flat give it a quick iron and you are done so thanks everyone for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is a free creative kiwi design that I think everyone should try and you'll love it so thanks for for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in the next video